Witcher, I have a matter of prime urgency and import. Your wound. Feeling better? It's healing splendidly, though I am to avoid trouble for some time. To be frank, that is precisely why I wish to speak with you. Want me to stand in for you? Take on some trouble on your behalf? That could very well be the case. You see, there is a maiden. Nay, a lady. I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. Let me guess. She suddenly grew cold, haughty, and distant, though the night before she was flirtatious and alluring. Tut tut, Witcher! You jest, yet the matter is grave. Though true, the lady in question is dear to my heart. I shall not deny it. I fear she has fallen victim to ill magic, and knows no one she could turn to for help. What makes you think she might be cursed? You must keep all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally, yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. Trickery? That even befitting of a knight? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? As it were, one evening I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, I too emerged, ever so gently but convincingly collided with her, then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... Then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped stone cold in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase, that time. I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions, to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. I noted that often, come night, she ventures into the woods, where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her, but lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into the air. Notice any other strange behavior? Additional symptoms? No, Vivian's avoided me wholly since the first encounter. But folk gossip. What about? They say she's secretive, that no one ever sees her after dusk, that she's wont to suddenly disappear. Nothing unusual about any of that. Sound you heard. She might have just had a sore throat. Had I thought it possible the sound was natural, I never would have taken up your precious time. Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady-in-waiting. Her mother was a lady-in-waiting, her father a knight. That is all I've learnt, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named a tourney's patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. I've devised a solution already. You should take my place in the lists and thus gain the chance to speak to her. I was looking forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. This tourney, how does it work exactly? It is the year's grandest and the most important contest. Knights from all corners come to face off for the grand prize. And more importantly, for glory. A demanding test of knightly prowess in horsemanship, marksmanship and fencing. I qualified for the first time, had great hopes of winning. Yet... Yeah, I get it. Anything for Vivian.
Fine, I'll look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever in your debt. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. Meaning? Could you show me how you shoot, ride and fight, perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ, require skills you don't usually apply, races above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start? Marksmanship. Feel a need to do some shooting. Come with me. The marksmanship contest shall pit you against another for the best time and score. He who hits all his targets first wins. Hope oh, my aim's as good as that Cupid's who shot you. Sometimes when you speak, I miss the meaning entirely. Hit the red targets! Once more? Glad they give it another try. Once more? Done enough shooting. Where to now? If you wish to know my thoughts, were I you, I would train on the race course ahead of all else. Let's do some riding. Roach will like that. Excellent idea! Come with me. The tourney's race differs from others you might have taken part in. You shall not ride against any opponent. How's it a race at all, then? It's a race against time. The true track begins in the arena, runs round the tourney grounds, then finishes again in the arena. The training track, however, lies beyond the arena. We shall go there now. Master Roger, you wouldn't be seeking an apprentice. All is ready. Now listen, for it can be quite a challenge. Along your route stand dummies and targets. The dummies you may cut with your blade. The targets you must hit from your crossbow. The time you have to complete the course shall increase each time you land a strike, be it with blade or bolt. It may sound simple enough, yet I've seen many a knight fail this contest and hang his head in shame. During the race proper, judges throughout the course shall tally your points. For now, you may ride unperturbed by those matters. Run, Roach.
So, have you had enough, or do you wish to ride again? No harm in going again. Practice makes perfect, even for witchers. Will you give it another go? I can set out more dummies. Had enough. Rather not wear my horse down before the real race. Where to now? Be nice to swing, do some footwork, work up a sweat. Very well. We shall practice infantry combat one on one. Each knight opts for his own method. Rainfarn, for instance, fights halberd in hand. Come with me. You will team with other knights to fight. The clash simulates a true skirmish during battle. Come the end, you shall fight a duel. It will determine your place on the podium. I always liked the duels the best, but now I can think only of my Vivian. In the end, it is good you will replace me. I sense I would simply be distracted this time. Stand at the center of the training ground. A knight will approach and challenge you. It is right and fitting, Witcher. For honor, sir, we shall cross swords if you'll allow it. Witcher, I can always embrace him. No remorse! Yeah! Do you wish to practice fighting a moment longer? Think I've seen enough. Sorry to be blunt, but the simplest Witcher contract demands more skill than this kind of combat. Now you must go to the inscription tent. Honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be in order. Just unto the night with time, my throat. This is the last time he'd find a man. I imagine you've been all over the world. Oh, I wish you health. Witcher's rather handsome. Est est flows in the veins of Toussaint. Greetings. Want to join the lists? Naturally. 
We must first see to formalities, however. At Guillaume's request, I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. Really? What did you come up with? My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What a surprise. Or as the Honorable Ravix of Forhorn. It's not every year we have a combatant who can boast of two crests. Which do you prefer? Kinda curious what you could have learned about Geralt of Rivia. In the year 1267, a certain Geralt, a member of the Witches' Guild, was knighted by Queen Meave and dubbed Geralt of Rivia. This was in honor of his distinguished service at the Battle of the Bridge, said structure spanning the Yaruga. But I wager you know of which battle I speak. Hmm. Yeah. Those were the days. Kahir and I led a fistful of Nordlings against an entire Nilfgaardian battalion. Won that battle just because we absolutely had to cross the river. I'm Geralt, not about to fight under a false name. You may now take the shields bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. Who mentions using it in combat? Not I. The shield commemorates your participation in the tourney. You may take it as a souvenir. Hmm. In that case, thanks. Have you been instructed as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you will allow me to tell you about them. Gonna come right out with it. I'm a sucker for prizes. The winner of each contest shall receive a trophy. Whoever has the best result once all contests have played out shall face last year's champion in a final duel for glory and the title. Should you defeat the reigning champion, the grand prize will be yours. This year, a sword forged especially for this occasion by the one and only Cornelius of Asengard, a famed master weaponsmith. Her illustrious highness had it brought all the way from Nazaire. You say something about vows? As is our custom, knights make vows to which they hold for the duration of the tourney. Each swears on something which to him represents his most cherished virtue. Guillaume told me a bit about the contests. Rather make sure I'm clear on them, though. An admirable thirst for knowledge. There are contests three. A shooting range, where you will compete side by side with an opponent. A horse race, during which you will seek to complete the course within a specified time. Any targets hit with bolts or dummies felt with blade will increase the time you have. Finally, the group melee in the arena. Crowned with a duel against last year's champion. As each contest ends, its results will be posted on the board outside my tent. This way all will be apprised of who leads at any given moment. Convenient. Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know about chivalric tourneys. Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. Upon what would you like to swear it? I vow on the love of my lady, Yennefer of Vengerberg, to respect the chivalric virtues. May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. The sign here, please, then fill out these forms. That is all I need from you. Now, as arranged by Guillaume, you shall be fitted with appropriate armor for the tourney. Hmm, shiny. You have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. 
It stands near the arena. Good luck. Geralt, well, I'll be. Have you decided to turn knight errant? All jesting aside, here on a job, you in the 22? Am I? Ha! I shall square off against Ren Farn of Atre. I saw him just moments ago, a nervous wreck, stuffing his nose with fish tech, no less, as if that would aid his determination. Guessing that's against the rules. But who's to tell the Nefgardian what to do? Listen, Geralt, I have a tip for you. The timing of your marksmanship duel is such that you shall have the sun in your eyes. Makes no difference to me either way. Nor will it give you any pleasure. Since, as it is, we must both wait. Play me in a round of quint. Should you win, I shall swap with you. To me, a southerner, the sun is no hindrance. Thanks. Another time, maybe. Ha! Ah, you've denied me some diversion. But at the least, my eyes are in for a treat. Lady Vivian should appear shortly. Fair knights, I salute you! The honor and duty of Tourney Patron have fallen to me this year. Fight honorably, so that I may bestow upon one of your number the Tourney's grand prize. You have sworn your vows. You have ready body and soul. The time has come to test them. Behold Horm Akispark of the Mechtian Royal Line. His name's quite the mouthful, a true challenge to rhyme. His targets to be hit centrally and true are the ones in blue. Against him, new blood, a knight unknown till now. Sir Geralt of Rithia, give us a bow. The targets he must with his quarrel's thread are red. May the better man win. Like a lava ghostly grasping but one fair teat, girls half strewn with joyous victory and bitter defeat. Geralt jumps ahead, leaves the others behind. Do I see this falsely? Am I out of my mind? The Geralt of Frithia has trounced his foe, pounded him soundly, immersed him in woe. Your prize, sir. A crossbow adorned with your crest. I congratulate you. 
Thank you, my lady. My medallion's vibrating strongly. Can only mean one thing. Magic. The explanation is disappointing, I'm afraid. The fragrance I use, it's mixed by a sorceress. To lose to an opponent such as you is a victory of its own. Accept my congratulations as well. Thanks. Good work! In the interim, I managed to determine which tent Lady Vivian occupies. Perhaps you could find a clue within it. You're right. Vivian's cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. In that case, we've no time to lose. Let us go. Yeah, let's go now. This is her tent. You must look inside. Search it. I shall hoot like an owl should someone approach. Claw marks. That's clear. Not sure what beast left them. Just that it's big. Oh, fair Vivian. Jar of concealing ointment. Stuff's eyes Powerful magic at work here. Thy lips are like a thread of scarlet. Thy two breasts are like... Clothing's all dark green and yellow. Seems Yen's not.